It looks like we are set to bask in sunshine this weekend here in the UK, uh, which means that the razors and the wax will be coming out so that we're ready to bear all. <laughs> However, if you're one of the 10,000 people who've put their names down on a waiting list for the revolutionary hair removing gel uh, that's just about to come out, you might uh, not have to shave so much throughout the summer months. The gel claims to slow down hair growth by 70% which could result in men and women only having to shave just once every three weeks. How good is that? Fine. So do you, would, are you well gel? Well, I d would normally resist anything that stunts growth because, you know, I need as much help <laughs> in that department as possible. <laughs> but when it comes to hair removal, I think I do need a bit of help because I'm a bit of a seasonal removal person. I sort of use my leg hair to keep me warm in the winter. Oh, you don't. I do. And in the summer it all comes off because you have to get them out, don't you? So, um, so something... Does Paul not object when he's in well, bed he, with a yeti? He thinks I've let myself go anyway. <laughs> he, he always says you've sort of... You can make a bit more of an effort, you know, and, and he... I mean, he has... He has passed comment on a certain part of my anatomy and refers to it as my ZZ top. <laughs> oh, that's... Please tell me that's not because that's how you it's give him all his loving. It's something to do with long beards. It's... <laughs> it's, it's something to do with long grey beards. Is it? Oh, yes. no, we're not, oh. not grey. <laughs> That's me, really, because well, I, I don't do a lot of um, things you're supposed to do. I can't be bothered. Uh, oh, it's such hard work once you start, isn't it? What yes. do you mean? You're not good on grooming, Linda? No, I'm not good on grooming. <laughs> can't you see? No, but my big thing, the big thing that this gel can't do anything about, really, well, I suppose it can stop my hair growing, but I like my hair. It's just that underneath this, can you believe, it's white. Ooh. See, that could be very chic with your lovely olive skin. Well, the trouble is, if I go, if I let it go, I have thought about this. If I now go grey, first of all, I'll have to put a wig on and go grey overnight because I can't grow the roots out. Yeah. And I am batting on about people who only see women aged up to the age of about 35. And young men in the media then go, if you say older woman, they think Miss Marples. Well, I will go into <laughs> Miss Marples mode straight away. You could be a very sexy Miss Marple. <coughs> Well, I'm really good. I've offered many times. Miss Marple with the wants to. Yes. With the best cleavage. I think ever. I'll hang on a bit longer for the old grey. Uh, I'm, I'm very low maintenance when it comes to the old grooming thing, uh, and I don't really trim my hedge often enough. I really don't. <laughs> um, I bite my own toenails now and again. Uh, yeah, because you're because, because you're obviously very limbered up. Yes. Um, and I, yeah, the whole thing I find quite boring. I do have to do these roots because. Um, Is they're, they're on show? Yes. Um, what else do I do? I do fake tan, but very badly. Do you shave? Because I shave everything. I, don't, I did waxing once in certain, on the old CZ top. It's awful. It's a terrible experience. Yeah. So I shave everything. In fact, I was shaving my Why pits. do you keep doing this? Like you've got <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not, I kid you not, once when I was in, in digs on tour once, there was a tiny little mirror on the wall and I was, I'd just done my arms like that and I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh, that looks a bit airy. And I went like that and I went, Oh, no! <laughs> well, I, Not I, with a Bic razor. With a Bic. Oh. And if you feel... Oh, yes. You cut your really? fingers. It, well, it's, there's a slight bit of bush <laughs> there, I have to say. <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> don't yes. ever do that. I just didn't think. It was like a second. Yes, don't try this at home. No. <laughs> it's, it's funny, isn't it, how... You, I mean, like, some women are seasonal with their grooming. I, I shave my legs every day. Yeah, yeah, round, yeah, because I just, I just think... No one think you... sees it, though, do they? All right, thanks. <laughs> Yesterday, that was pointed out to the nation as well, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think, for me, I just want to feel nice. I want to feel the best I can feel. And literally, yeah. I mean, you're being a bit lazy, ladies, because it doesn't take five minutes, does it, to whip out a big? Yeah, but I like to tan. So it's, do I tan or do I take the skin off? Because if you tan and then you shave, you've got, like, a, a lawn that's off. got stripes up in. <laughs> do you know, do you know what I love about this show? It's so intellectual. <laughs> but this is real life, Lynn. It's going <laughs> it on is. everywhere. It is. And, and actually, we're under immense pressure to, to be polished and groomed. And I, and I, I mean, if I had an hour to go and have any kind of treatment, it would be a massage. Mm. It's nothing that's going to make me look better, but yeah. it would make me feel better. I do my own manicures and pedicures and all that stuff. Stuff. And I think it's men that don't like seeing hair on women. It's the most natural thing in the world, but men oh, can't bear it. Oh, I don't like seeing hair on That's a fashion, women. because now men don't want to see hair on men, either. All these young guys that I can't shave their chest. With that, the the think, shaved chest, I think that's bizarre. Linda, Actually, you say that, when they grow out here and it's like bush. No, 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 but... That's disgusting. You've got, I think, yes, yeah, have a little trim. something very suspect about everybody wanting to look the same sex and hairless. I think there's something very... No, not thing. hairless, <laughs> but like Jenny said, it's, it's hedge trimming. Yes, because what? you know when you can sit... When you're stood next to a man and you can see it coming out of his shirt... <laughs> 
but it's all right. But I, I don't want to see it coming out of his ears, his nose, yeah, or well. off his shoulders. I do think that. some men are hairy and some yes. men aren't, and I think we should start accepting yeah, that people are, are different. I will never accept well, that. Let's, Europe let's gives me Snow White has got hairy armpits. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not right. That's very French. Now, boys in the green room, we have a doctor, we have a showbiz superstar. Right. Are you shaved or unshaven? Down there. No. Chest. <laughs> Oh, chest! Chest! You're quite hairy. I'm I am quite hairy, hairy. Yeah. Do, do you shave? Natural. Do you trim? I shave myself here. Do you? Yeah. Why? 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 Yeah. I what? clip it on my shoulders because I've gone a bit like Team Wolf. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but that's trimming. Why would you shave off what is essentially your masculinity? Well, let's ask him, Christian, why do you shave off your masculinity? Because I think it looks nicer. <laughs> <laughs> What does your partner do? Suspect, doctor. Well, well, you know, it? perhaps there are other people involved in this decision as well, don't forget. See, so. I have my that so it's for your partner. My Mate. partner's a bit like a Thelwell pony, and I like that. I like getting... <laughs> He's a bit half Thelwell pony. Do you remember Thelwell pony? Yes, ponies? little fat, hairy ponies. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has the skin well, of a think... gooseberry. There's a little chubby Thelwell pony. Yes, there's yeah. extremes, but I, I do worry about the trend for yes. everybody to look vaguely the same with this smooth skin. I worry about the rash when it grows back. <laughs> uh, well, your beard rash is bad enough, but chest rash... Well, what about you at home? What's your most hated body maintenance procedure? Are you in fear of the chest stubble? Obviously not your own, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're a man. Would you rather live without um, having to make your body beautiful every day? Let us know what you think about this or any of today's discussions.